I just decided that I want to take my shoes off. My pants are getting sweaty. That's disgusting. I'm wearing boots. Boots? Boots. Boots? With the fur? My alternate, my alternate Amy killing boots. <laughs> you can't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> She's back. No. On that note, welcome to the show! Woo! Hello everybody, I am Sam. I'm Amy. And alongside with us we have Hayden. Say hello. Hello. Um, and uh, today we have a great episode for you guys. Um, we know it's so, it's a good episode. Like, give it a listen. Wait, you're doing, wait a minute. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> you're doing it right now. Who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, so... Today, we're going to be talking about... We're going to be answering the age-old question, Amy. Rocket Man? Yeah, which Rocket Man is better? And which one represents Rocket Man better? Rocket Man? Or, or Rocket, Rocket Man? Man? <laughs> uh, do you want to pull up the IMD? Do you want to do Fred Randall? Uh... I'll do Rocket Man. <laughs> <laughs> Sick, dude. <laughs> I'll do Rocket Man also. Okay. I'm going to do 2019 one, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please keep that little tangent in? Because that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is good. Um, I'm going to be so mad because you can clearly see my screen. So I can totally see you just looking at the one that I'm doing. <laughs> She'll never know. She'll never know. It's okay. just like the the iTunes like lyric list of the song rock. <laughs> it's, I actually looked up the... the um, the creation process of the song Rocket Man. I looked up the Wikipedia for that song. No, it's just rocket science. <laughs> <laughs> Aerospace. Okay. Um, before we get started, let's get into our drinks. Uh, today, I'm I'm trying something different today. I've been uh, I've been not having soda or like caffeine. Nice. So uh, it's Can't been relate. yeah. Um, as we look over at Amy's monster that she has, spoiler alert. And then um, I said that, like, oh, I'm not going to get a monster. <laughs> then I got a monster. <laughs> um, so I got a vitamin water. Um, it is labeled as vitamin water. Zero sugar. Gutsy. Watermelon peach flavored plus other natural flavors. Ever have that one friend that walks in the party and everything just gets funkier? That's us. But in your gut. Our five grams of fiber is the kind of vibe this wacky gut party is, needs. Is that a good thing, though? Um, well... I guess we'll find out after I take a sip. That's not bad. I like it. Not bad. I can drink it again. You're a vitamin water guy, Hayden, right? Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you are Wasn't it uh, the other day where you got vitamin water and you're like, yeah, this is disgusting? No, it's smart water. Oh, okay. This is an stuff. Vitamin water is pretty good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see if I can open this with my nails. My nails have grown out quite a lot, and I don't want to break them. That was a weird sound and crack and open. <laughs> <laughs> Donald, is that you? <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> I got some... Mango Loco Monster. The juice one. The juice is loose. Uh, Donald Duck was in here a second ago. <laughs> yeah. He came and he went. <laughs> he came in? And left. Yeah. What are you drinking today, Hayden? Live wire. Mountain Dew. Nice. Well, or the orange one. Orange. I think... <clears throat> I think. You think? I think. We'll just cut out that comment. I don't. I'm not I think. 
leaves it in, but there's like major reverb on it. <laughs> no. Why does your voice? Cry? No, we can't be continuing this because it, it's gonna give the editor a great idea of like, you know, this is actually be funny to throw a keep in, and I'm not controlling or, editing anymore. Or it's so gonna be. Is, Dude, there's scary. another. There's a third Rocket Man. Why didn't we watch it? I don't know. It has a seven point three on Rotten Tomatoes. Okay, I think this is. Was... Oh, it's a TV series. Never oh, okay. mind. Okay. We're not gonna watch that. No. <laughs> no thanks. Um. So. Um. Should we start off with the? Let's start off with the better. I mean, let's start off with. Let's end with the better one. So we'll do that one first. Well, what if we? I was just thinking how we did our Halloween one, where we're like, we'll do the family friendly one first, and then. So we're just gonna start off with a banger then. <laughs> Good. Just do it in chronological order. Oh yeah. Well, so then the it would still be thing. that way. <laughs> okay. I can say that's how you can do it for fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, fellas, there's been a question that's been lingering in my mind for a very, very long time. Um. There, there have been there have been two Rocket Mans. Now we found out there's three, but we won't worry about that. Cut that extra little bit. We found out that there are two Rocket Man movies, and we grew up on one of them, and the other one just came out. Like so, three? No. Yeah, it's Four years re ago. recent. Recent. Yeah. And we wanted to see if. Like, you know, like Footloose, how you can compare those two movies. And, like, you see the similarities and the differences. Um, the, uh, there's, there's the, like, the, like the, the Grease. Are, yeah, the Grease. Like, um, a Mamma Mia series. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> That's, uh. <laughs> um. Wow. <laughs> what, what, what other we're we're going to see if Rocket Man holds up. Yeah, like, you know. Is it better Rocket than, like, is it better than, like, Mamma Mia? Yeah. Or Grease? Well, no, we're just seeing if it's, if it holds, if it's a good, if it's a good representation of the previous. <laughs> of Rocket Man. Yeah, if, if the 2019 Rocket Man is a good representation of the 1997 one. It's not made by the same people. Like it's not Disney, so like for the for, for Disney the would. I don't think Disney would ever make a. Actually, no. They did something with Elton John. Yeah, they've they had a whole thing, for for Elton John on Disney Plus. Yeah. But they forgot about their their. They uh, forgot about the roots. Yeah, they forgot about the nineteen ninety seven, <laughs> Rocket Man. Um, I mean. So. I mean, rewatching it last night. Uh, there's we'll get, we'll there's a there's it. a there's a plenty of things where I'm like, oh yeah, I see why it's not. No, on Disney there is Plus. there is one scene where I know exactly why it's not on Disney Plus, and we'll get into it. So, um, yeah, let's just get let's just let's just get into it. Um, I have some notes, or I have when I say I have notes, I have the IMDb page pulled up. <laughs> um, the 1997 Rocket Man is is made by Disney. Um, and it stars uh, Harlan Williams, uh, Jessica Lundy, um, William Sadler, and uh, not Jeff Bridges, his brother Bo. Bo Bridges. Bo Bridges. Um, and a monkey. Um, What's the monkey's name? I was going to look that up, but then uh, I forgot. Um, let's see. Um... Because we need to look up Ulysses, who is by far the greatest character in this Dude, movie. I love how I spelled monkey wrong. Wow. Um, the, the monkey's name, Ulysses, uh, the actor's name for Ulysses is called Raven. Raven and, the monkey. Uh, they, they, Raven worked with another, per, another woman by the name of uh, Eddie Merman, uh, who uh, plays the chimp's voice. So... Dude, those weren't real monkey sounds. No, it was made by, uh, by. I'm yeah. pissed. This movie sucks now. No, it's a good movie. <laughs> Not real monkey sounds. I'm out of here. Okay. Um, Zero stars out of ten. Next movie, please. Oh, Amy, thank you for segueing into the into the score of this movie. So, <laughs> um, 
I have three ratings for you guys. Um, actually, four, counting mine. Um, we'll start off with IMDb. IMDb gives it a 5.8 out of 10. Mm-hmm. It's, it's an average movie. Um, it's a movie. It's a movie. Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 20%. Which, Is that also a movie? That's a terrible movie, actually, if it's 20, if it's that low. Um, I think the audience gave it a 72%. Yeah, 72% on Rotten Tomatoes. For the audience score, critics gave it 20%. Um, Best Buy. <laughs> so or- review of it. A 4.8 out of 5. <laughs> they think this movie is 0.2 of a star away from being perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Best Buy. I'm pretty sure it's just what, um, like, the actual purchasing of the product at Best Buy, if that's what. I wonder how many people have bought it and were like, bro, this movie's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah. Um, so, to start off, here's a, here's a little recap of what that movie is for for just a little, if you haven't seen it in a while. Um, or if you've never seen it. Yeah. So, Rocket Man is about... Um, about this Mars mission, um, and they don't, they don't really explain what they're doing on Mars. Well, they're the first people to go to Mars. Yeah. They're trying to get to Mars first. Cause like, uh, Julie and Ulysses, they're like getting rocks. Well, they're, they're, they're looking for life out there. Like they're, they're, they're looking for water so they can have plant life and whatever. Mm. Um, but, um... They, they're in simulating these tests at NASA, um, and they, like, these, these tests and simulations aren't working, so NASA is just like, you know, let's go talk to the guy that built this, uh, that this built, computer. yeah, that, that built the simulation, and in comes in Fred Z. Randall, um, he... He's always wanted to go to space. He's dreamt about being an astronaut and has done that thing where you sit in a washing machine, turn on the washer, and spin in the washing machine, acting like you're going to space. I can, I've done that before. No, I haven't. I can see that being not like a big reason why it's not on Disney Plus, but like a because like in Lilo and Stitch, they like re, like had to redo a scene like where Lilo's in like a washer. Like, to hide from her sister. Oh, what the... Yeah, they had to redo that. So, instead of her, like, being in the washing machine, she's, like, in a cupboard and, like, is covering herself in, like, a like a pizza box. What and it, like, opens heck? up. Because they... Because, um, I guess, kids were going into washing machines or dryers and getting stuck in there. Disney's like, oh, safety stuff. We're gonna change it up and make sure kids don't go in there. That makes sense. So I can, like, see that being, like, a small piece of it. Because mm-hmm. it's, like, you can't really, like, cut it out. I mean, you probably could. Mm-hmm. Well, but yeah. So You're not getting Shelley Duvall, though. Yeah, Shelley Duvall's in this movie. She was uh, uncredited in it, in it. Was she? <sighs> yeah, that's what that's it's actually, on IMDb. That's it crazy. It said that she was in it as, as his mom. But, but she's not credited. Uh, that's wild. Yeah. Um, but um, Fred Randall, he's he. He's a nerd. Yeah, he's an absolute nerd. <laughs> he made the simulation. They they uh, they were as they're testing out this little simulation thing, and he has this thing in his office that spins around as it's running the simulation and whacks the guy who uh who originally did it who originally does like all the computer stuff and who is supposed to be running the simulation or do what the simulation does in space we should preface that fred randall did make it right he showed Mm -hmm. like yeah this is how you do it i made it perfectly and like did it and like did the simulation perfectly Mm-hmm. Then the guy that was doing the missions and failing at it, he's like, duh, okay, well, let me try. And then he didn't do it good. <laughs> yeah, he got smacked by the 
by the prototype little simulation machine. Mm-hmm. And uh I love yeah. I love Fred I love his little office area. It reminds me of like uh Pixar's like little office areas where it's just a bunch of toys everywhere. Mm-hmm. I yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. But that's fine. What do you mean? I don't remember seeing the scene that we're talking about. No, I don't know. The, okay. Oh. She's on one today. <laughs> what do you mean? You're like, I don't know what you're talking about. No, when I, was... I, I was about to say, I don't know what you're talking about with like the anim- like the Disney anime or whatever thing that you just said. Like in the animation area, they have like toys everywhere. Oh. Okay. I don't yep. remember this. But. Wow. Well. Um, that's what I meant. But. Um. So, Fred Randall, he gets run through tests because they're like, we need a new guy to do our thing. And so there's two people who are competing against each other to see who, like, they're not competing against each other, really. But they're running tests at the same time. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're going to pick between the two of them. So, yeah, they're basically competing. But. It only lasts, like, what, 20 minutes, maybe? Of the movie? Yeah. Yeah, because they go a full 24 hours in that isolation shit. Just, they do weird little, like, shenanigans of, like, oh, you have to test out how you do in isolation. How you deal with uh, taking, like, six or seven Gs of, like, force. Um, and, like... Uh, Going through and, a spinning wheel of death trying to plug in cords. Yeah. And holding your breath. And, oh, yeah, and holding your breath. <laughs> Okay, um, and absolutely wild, um, <laughs> dude. The prosthetics and the, <laughs> the breath holding part is horrendous. Do you? Okay, when was the last time you've seen Rocket Man, Hayden? It's been a long time. Okay, I'm gonna pull up the scene just for you, Hayden. Yeah, because it's, it's absolutely wild on how disgusting the prosthetic looks because when they're like holding the breath yeah uh we're not, yeah um his face is just you can just tell that it's just fake everything around here and like it, the, the little like tube is just molded onto the face and it looks absolutely disgusting Dude, i've been uh, i've been watching people talking about shane dawson's movies and he wears like a terrible fat suit and he has like face prosthetics that's what it looks like. Like the latex is like coming off and it's like, this is disgusting. I hate it here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you look. Can tell, like all the plastic Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> like you can see like the seam coming up right here and it like doesn't look natural. That's yeah. totally what it looks like. <laughs> but it's just I imagine that it's just like a little latex like mask that just goes under his eyes and just like goes Wait. under. It's just, it's absolutely. I'm sure that they were doing it. So <laughs> Those eyes, they kill me. But yeah, I wonder if they just did a, like a, <laughs> Like, it's not the right shade, because you can tell, like, uh, like his forehead's more red than his cheeks. Yeah. But I'm sure that they had, like, a pipe, like, going through there, like, to blow air through it. The big old freaking pipe that's going into his No, forehead. no, no. <laughs> like, no, they have, I'm like, pretty sure thing. there's a pipe going in, and as you can see, there's a big old pipe that's in his mouth? No, like, uh, uh, like how they have the effect. Like, it's just like a little hose that's like going through it. Like, why else would they have, like, why else would they do like a latex thing to like make his cheeks big? Because I feel like that actor has like a very flexible face. So it's like, it wouldn't be hard to blow up his cheeks. Because well, he- I can see them doing it to like keep like the ball up. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, that <laughs> the latex job is not good. Yeah. Um. 
But yeah, um, after they run through tests, uh, Fred is like accepted into uh, like he he's he's deemed as the better candidate for uh, the space he, team. Well, he's also not injured. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm sure that they wouldn't let the guy that he was up against do it anyways because he failed, like, all the motion sickness stuff. Like, I'd imagine yeah. he didn't do good at the wire, like, connecting test. Yeah. Like, I feel like if you can't go with six Gs just going in a circle, I don't think you're going to be good going, like, being spun around. You're you're making it sound like, oh, yeah, six Gs, that's nothing. Then, but it isn't, but... Like, oh, yeah, if you can't take six Gs, you can't do anything. What a loser. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but. I, <laughs> just the scene, like, like, there's so many references in this movie. Mm-hmm. And, like, some of them are, like, kind of subtle. Like, when they're, like, yeah, the astronaut that's going on the Mars mission is Fred Randall. And he, like, screams <laughs> and gets up and is, like. Like, it kind of reminds me of just, like, award shows. Like, I don't mm -hmm. know what it is specifically, but I'm like, oh, yeah, I've definitely seen this somewhere where it's, like, someone going, like, oh, my gosh, I won! Um, you're, you're referencing then, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis when she's screaming for Michelle Yeoh. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, Best friend material. Yeah. But basically, the rest of the movie is just uh, them going to space and... Uh, them having space shenanigans. Or him just having space shenanigans and everyone being like, who's Manson? This is... Why is he here? Mm -hmm. But then um, a lady falls in love with him yeah. after he sings uh, When You Wish Upon a Star. Yeah. Also, <laughs> funniest thing is... Is Fred being like, oh, look, there's my star. And it's like, there's no way you could pick out your star when you're in space, when it's like a whole like different perspective. Oh, yeah. On Earth while in space. <laughs> Ain't no way you're going to sit there and be like, look, there it is. It's it's the North Star. Well, and I it's like, how do you know? I think he describes on where his star is at. And I'm pretty sure either... He has a star that's connected in like the little dipper or whatever, and then hers is the North Star, and I think well, it's I absolutely like, nuts. Well, I can't remember the line, but I feel like it was like playing along the lines of like, oh yeah, second star to the right, straight until morning, like that whole thing, like him. Oh, uh, where he's like, just referencing like Peter Pan or something. Yeah, he that's makes. Funny. Yeah, there's a lot of Disney references in this movie. <laughs> But also, it's I like, think, it is a Disney movie, so of course they're going to I think reference. over half of that man's lines is just obscure. Not even obscure. They're, 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 they're just references. Yeah, Disney references. Um, or, well, I think just references in general. Because I don't think Disney... Actually, no, they do own Wizard of Oz. Not right now, but back then, I'm pretty sure they did. Because that's why... Because they had the first one... Then before like the lease came up on on it, they made a second one to like keep it, and then they made like that newer like Oz movie. Mm, so then Oz, it, the Great and Powerful with Dave yeah. Franco. Yeah, <laughs> like to like that was at the end of its lease. So who knows? There's probably gonna be Disney's probably making Wicked, so then they can keep uh, Wizard of Oz again. <laughs> It's not Who a knows? problem. I, I, don't know. I mean, it I, makes it I, so I other people can't make it, but Oops. but yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah, half of the lines that he said is just like, oh yeah, when you wish upon a star and like it makes uh, Julie fall in love with him, <laughs> and I hate it because they do it twice. Yeah, and like just him singing it when they're both looking at their stars, and she's like looking at him it's like <laughs> there's no way that i would fall in love with someone who's Kay. singing about a, so a star like i feel like that'd be so awkward to be like no okay fred um I, I, with like your me star. A, I like me a good weird impersonation <laughs> so if like somebody if some girl came up to me is just like hey uh 
look at those stars, and proceeds to do like an impersonation of Jimmy Cricket and just <laughs> sing that song. No, it would be something that you two have in common. And then she sings about it to you. And it's like, okay, cool. Cool, my guy. It's, I think it'd be funny. I think it'd be sick. <laughs> I mean, if I was in Julie's position, where I've just been annoyed by this guy this whole time I've known him, and then all of a sudden he's singing to me, it would not make me automatically like him. Come on, he's he's endearing, and let's not compare it to uh, let's not compare it to the other Rocket Man movie because he gets in some pretty bad relationships. Um, don't blame my boy Elton John. <laughs> don't blame. Don't, don't, don't blame anybody from the cast of Rocket Man either. <laughs> Okay, but Fred Randall and Ellen John are like two completely different situations. Uh, no. Fred doesn't feel like he fits in with the crowd and he's made fun Fred of Fred for... doesn't care about the crowd. No. He's like, I just want to be a spaceman. And then he's a spaceman and then everyone hates him, but he's oblivious. That's his character. He's just oblivious the whole time. No, That's... do you not remember the scene where they're all getting drunk and whatever? And he's just like, wait a minute, I'm just trying to fit in. And then, but then you... there's no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to fit in. Come on, they have the musical cue and everything. But then, when... <laughs> dude, that whole part where they're like. All right, your roommate is a monkey. You guys are living in a house together. <laughs> when it's like, Julie, you're the one that's partnered up with the monkey. Why don't you take him? Because you know how to take care of him. And then it can be other guy and <laughs> Fred that are roomies. That would actually be pretty fun. Having the, like, having the other guy. Um... Roommates with him. Yeah, what's his name? Uh, is, is I just remember Adam? him as Captain. Let's see. Is his name Robert? No. Oh, uh, Bill. Bill, okay. Yeah, because <laughs> there's the part where they're on Mars and, like, just the whole gag of, like, them driving somewhere and Fred just keeps asking questions. But one of his things is like, Hey, Captain, can I call you Bill? And he's like, No. <laughs> he's like, Please stop. Like, they should have had, like, weird little antics where... They they don't really like each other, and then then they have that moment at the end of the movie where. Um, I feel like, like they just built up the monkey too much of funny shenanigans. Because well, like who doesn't also, like the monkey? To, yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> I love the monkey. He's the best part. Ulysses is good. Ulysses is best boy, mm -hmm. but. <laughs> But, like, the whole scene, like, when Fred comes home and he's drunk and, like, I don't know why, but he's drenched. And at first I was like, oh, yeah, it's because the window's open. But then it's nowhere near his bed, no. so why is he Wait, drenched? you didn't notice? It's totally, like, the window that he broke with the shoe is right above his bed. No, but the angle that they had it, like, he was standing, like, so now the, the room is laid out. There's two beds. And, like, he was, like, in the corner of the room. He threw one off that was, like, towards, like, the beds, and then he was throwing the other one off, like, on the other side of the bed. So it's, like, there's no way. But then, like, uh, like the whole part where Ulysses is scared of the thunder and, like, he's singing, like, him a lullaby. But they, no, but they totally, like, make him, like, sit by the window. So it's, like, yeah, this is why he's drenched. But it's only his hair! His no, clothes are dry, but no, his hair is like, wet. If you look at him, if you look at him, he's just laying. He's right above. He's right under the the, the window. I don't and, see any window. Okay. I love how there's also just a banana peel by his head. <laughs> okay, so hold up, like he's still wet right here, and well, yeah, because it's it's still the same shot. Yeah. The little guy. I know! Ulysses is so cute! 
Like the part where he's leaving to go to the bar. Like, there's no way that you're leaving a monkey alone at the house. <laughs> Especially when he's like, hey, there's no easy to eat okay, puzzles look. in the house. And there's certainly no jumping on the bed. <laughs> it's okay, so look good. at that. He's right. The window's broken right there. Rain is coming in. and Okay, he, but the, the, the angle where he's throwing his shoes off okay. doesn't align right. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I won't fight you on this, but I'm right. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, wow. Okay. Um, I think this movie's great. Um, mm. It has it has some terrible scenes in it. Um, Dude, there's shots where the camera isn't in focus, and it makes me so mad. Like I, don't I know feel if like that was YouTube or not? No, that was the movie. Cause uh, like the shots where it's him, back to him singing to Julia about wishing upon a star. When it's like close ups on like their faces, it's like blurry. I don't know if they're trying to do like a soft focus to make it look more romantic, but it's like on like both of them, like when it's a close up on like both their faces. Mm -hmm. But then when it's a wide shot where it's showing both of them, it's crystal clear. So it's like. What's happening? <laughs> but then there's like another part where it's like, oh yeah, that's totally not in focus. Why is this fuzzy? Yeah. And then the next shot, it was fine. Um, but yeah, there's <laughs> definitely some racist parts. Yeah, I think like, I think the the movie was taken off of uh, Disney. Or I don't it was think never it was, put on yeah. Disney Plus because of. The infamous scene, which I thought was hilarious as a kid, but it is not age well, bud. No. Um, like, the... I sit here and, like, like, I feel like with us watching it as, like, kids and, like, thinking it's funny, I feel like it's just the innocent thing of, like, he's not saying those languages. What a silly man. But then now it's like, uh, bro, he said Ikea, trying to claim that it's German. <laughs> and, uh... While he's, like, singing in French, he says, uh... Chanel number five. <laughs> yeah, Chanel number five. Doing, doing the, doing the uh, uh, translation dude. to, to dude, I've got the whole world in my hands. It's so good. Well, no, it's, 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 it's not. Okay. It's, I think the thing that bugs me the most is that, like, everyone else, like, once he starts singing the other languages, like, the captain's like... Uh, like, sir, that's, those are not <laughs> words. But then everyone else is like, yeah, everyone, let's sing the song. Yeah, and it's I, like, no, if everyone was like, uh, this guy. <laughs> I think what they should have done is, Cause I feel like, is not even show any of the, the comedy bit of him trying to do these, tra the translations. Uh -huh. Or have him speak in French like, uh, or like any of those languages like perfectly. Like have it sound good. Or you could have it just Yeah, because that audibly... would have been funny because it's like, dude, what the heck? This guy is like stupid smart, but he's also super annoying. Yeah. <laughs> like what the heck is um, happening? It, it would have been also pretty funny if he was just like talking in his nerdy like uh, Harlan voice. And that's his, that's his first name, I'm pretty sure. Oh. But um, we could have him just speaking in his, like, his normal voice and then, or singing, his, he's got the whole world in his hand, and then have some person who speaks French, German, and Chinese who like, doesn't sound anywhere close to him. No. <laughs> and just have him, like, mouthing over it. Just have it. No. I think it's a better one than him just... The, having the Chinese sequence where Dude. he just makes random noises thinking that it's Ugh. Chinese inserting Dude, also a was... haya in there <laughs> Dude when I, I remember when I was younger I was like oh yeah ha ha like I didn't know what Chanel number 5 was but I'm like that is definitely not French. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not it's not it's definitely not a French word that he's supposed to be singing but then when it got to the Chinese part, I was like, uh, <laughs> like, uh, this is no. I, I laughed at it because I thought it was just funny and weird. But now realizing how offensive that is. is yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like, 
Ugh. Like, they could have made it work if it was, like, because he's supposed to be, like, this super smart, nerdy guy. So it's, like, they could have, like, if they did it now, it would just be him singing in all those languages. But then or, it would or, or have it, so, like, he's singing, but then, like, somehow, every, like, it'll show, like, in, uh, in Elf, how it's, like, all of them singing Santa Claus is coming to town, but then it like goes to like all the different people that Buddy was with and all of them singing. Right. They could do that, but it could be like around the world and everyone singing it in like their own language or something. Like just have it be like, well, I guess they somehow know the lyrics to the song, I guess. Mm-hmm. Well But like some of the things that they cut to, like the like the tribe in Africa where like they're dancing along to it and it's like they wouldn't care. They wouldn't know about any of this, and they wouldn't care about what it. What do you mean? This is like a monumental m- moment in like human history. People going to a different planet, finding life. Like going to the moon is pretty crazy, but going to Mars, going to Mars where that's you true. could where you could find life out there, that's gonna be something that's like that's like uh, big for the world. Like when. I, like I don't care what you're... Was, the... I like how the Pope was like, everyone gather in my cathedral, <laughs> we're celebrating this. Okay, but like... No, but it's... Yeah. Like when you compare it to I mean, when there was the big space race between uh, like, oh, like uh, all the Russia. different countries oh, going yeah. to space and going to the moon and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Like whether or not your opinion on whether... Like your, your opinion on whether or not... We've You're just to excited space. to go to space. Yeah, or we've been to the moon, if the moon Actually, might be faked um... or not. <laughs> I, I was thinking about bringing that up. But uh, thinking about it, I don't think people were, like, ecstatic about, like, anyone going. Because I feel like... Because that was also during, like, the Red Scare. Like, like where we were almost going into Cold War stuff. Where, like, America's like... What are those Russians doing? We gotta make it to space first before they get alien technology and use it to kill us. Don't we gotta mean, get it first. Don't you mean when the world was revolving around the Stranger Things plot? You see, uh, I haven't watched Stranger Things, so I wouldn't know. Guys, this is a plot to get Amy to watch Stranger Things. Everybody, uh, shout out this to Amy to get her to, me to watch it. Shout out to to Stranger Things. Hey, Finn Wolfhart, um, make Amy watch the show. <laughs> Kidnap me, tie me, <laughs> tie me down in your basement, and make me watch it. Yeah. Um, Don't really do it though, please. Uh, what, what's 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 uh what's um uh, what's his name the the cop? What's what's the actor's Offer. name? Oh, uh, I don't know. Bill. I was about to say Bill Hader, and I was like, no. Nope. I was about to as well. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, yeah. The John? New, new Hellboy and Santa. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> the Red Guardian from from. Uh, Dude, Black my Hero. Russian dad. <laughs> the dads. Amy, what's your thoughts on this dad in this movie? Which, no. Uh, I was like, which one? The one in Rocket Man. Dude, he wasn't supportive of uh, the Fred. And I was like, why Why are you a nerd? Why can't you be a football player like all the other boys? When it's like, bro, like, I, I just... Come on, that's his only matter. line. That's I know. his only line other than spitting his sandwich out of oh, his mouth. And also, <laughs> when does he spit his sandwich? Like, is that when he like comes on TV and he's all yeah, blue? Yeah, yeah. No, but there's the part where they're, like, getting launched into space and his mom's like, I hope he packed enough underwear. And he's like, oh, he's packing his underwear right now. (laughs) (laughs) I forgot about that line. I was wanting to remember that line. Dude, that line was so good. (laughs) I love it uh, because when I was younger, I sat there like, yeah, of course he's packing his underwear. He's an adult. But now no. <laughs> he's pooping his pants. Dude. <laughs> oh, dude. That part where he sneezes is disgusting. Yeah. Where they're doing the Hey, don't touch oh, my sorry. hair. Don't touch my hair. There's just like a straight part. Anyways. But yeah, the just the part where he sneezes is disgusting. 
disgusting. It's pretty I, bad. I closed my eyes last night. Cause I was Actually? Like, I yeah, I was like, I don't want to see this. Like, I'm going to vomit if I watch this. I'm going to feel sick. Like, when he was like, wait, there's a fly in my helmet. I sat there and I was like, I forgot about this. So, like... Like when it was like doing like the countdown and it was like him building up to his sneeze. I was like, oh, it's coming. I've got to close my eyes. It was <laughs> disgusting. So, um, the scenes that I remember most is, uh, oh, wait. like, I feel like we haven't talked enough about like anything before the testing because or we haven't even talked about the testing that much because that's also it's very fun yeah. um like he it's like commander we're <laughs> like where he's like oh, interacting with, with yeah <laughs> where he's flying his pen into like this makeshift like like, like there's like a mural a yeah, yeah there's like a mural on a wall of like space mm -hmm. like the solar system yeah and he's just like playing around and just like flying this <laughs> pen into the sun and just him being just weird it's just like and then turns around and then he's just like morning yeah he's, he's, like, tucking, he's like tucking his pen in his pocket like nothing's happening here. Mm -hmm. there's a lot like before we rewatched it i sat here and i was like there's going to be a lot of potty humor and it's probably not going to be as funny as like when we were kids. But there's a lot of jokes where I was like, okay, you know what? That was, that was pretty good. <laughs> I'm like, not mad about it. I like going in, I'm like, I'm ready to hear it. It wasn't me like so many times. Cause yeah. that was like, that's like his line. Mm -hmm. And, uh, was that the tagline of the movie? Oh, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Sick brother. <laughs> no, I um, I just remember hearing it way too much in this watching. And... I remember us laughing about it, mm -hmm. or and... like us saying it when we were kids, like it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> and I think still to this day, like if somebody says it wasn't me, that's the first thing that pops up in my head is Fred mm -hmm. Randall pointing over there. When you point at the monkey. <laughs> Him doing it with anything. Because, yeah. like, I I think it's so funny where he just tries to point the blame on everyone. Yeah. Like, when he throws the shoe out the window and he's like, it was the monkey, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> or when he runs into Bud. Um, and he's just oh, like, dude, dude the, the cafeteria lady, she threw me in. It wasn't me. She dude. Just, I need Bud? to dive out of the way. I feel like Bud is, like, best dad in this movie. Even though he's not a dad, he's best dad in this movie. <laughs> so, like... He has, he has dad energy, and I'm like, yes, you're a good dad. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for being here. But I, I like his character. I wish they delved more into, like, him and Randall becoming friends. Because, like, the first meeting is, like, Randall running into him, like, at the, like in, like, the two-way doors. Mm-hmm. And, like, him being like, oh, you're the one that's responsible for all of the, like, all the bad stuff that happened and all the other, like, space stuff. Mm -hmm. And he's just like, duh, I'm leaving. I'm mad at you. Bye, Fred. I'm out of here. Yeah. And then next time that you see him is when they're doing the test where he's, like, in, like, the hoop thing. And, like, trying to plug in everything. And, like, at that part, he's like... Oh man, that was really good. Like you, you got all that stuff real good. So now let's go ahead and like turn on the machine, and like he's like cheering him on. Like, come on, Freddie, you can do it. And it's like, what? Yeah. What where, happened? Where that, there should have been more. Yeah, I think trade out the monkey shenanigans. No, <laughs> they need. I don't know. They need the monkey shenanigan of him flinging <laughs> the monkey around no, that's... the room. I'm not talking about those shenanigans. I'm talking <laughs> about like him being at the house with the monkey. Even though that's just like two scenes. But yeah. It's like you could have traded those out. They or the the holding the breath scene. <laughs> they need to have like the I don't know. But yeah, because then after that, uh, Bud and Fred are like super buddy buddy the rest of the time. Like if he didn't like give him the coin like before he left. Like, if that part was cut out, and then it was just, like, them on the ship, and, like, Bud being like, 
Fred, you're awake? What the heck? Like, you're supposed to be in hypersleep. Yeah. And then, like, they're talking about, like, the weather stuff. And but uh, Bud's like, oh, yeah, like, that. you're right. This is, like, all that kind of stuff. Where it's like, that should have been the part where, like, they started to like each other. Mm-hmm. Like, the, or... the testing scene, like, I feel like that's, like, it wasn't like a, not like friendly, but it's more like a... Like a workplace stuff like where it's like, oh, wow, like you're, you're actually smart. Like, yeah, you're trustworthy, but that doesn't mean that I like you. Well, they, they should have had him either be like this super, like he, he should have been like super fr- friendly at first with, like they, they should have started off on a good relationship because Fred needed needs that one good relationship and that one good relationship being... Yeah, because uh, no one uh, likes him in, like, the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Like, out of the whole, like, people in it. Yeah. Or they could have made it where, like, the guy... Um, I forgot his name, but he was the guy that was, like, in charge of, like, that whole room area. Oh, the head that, guy. The yeah. guy that was leading the mission. Yeah, and he, like, kept putting the blame on Bud. Mm-hmm. Like, they could have him give Fred the coin and, like, acting like... He liked him, but, like, being annoyed. Because, like, he's had that kind of relationship already. I, where he's, I don't know. I think they should have had somebody who... Like, a good connection. Yeah. I feel like it would have been more realistic with Bud, like, not giving him the coin, but then them, like, like slowly getting more friendly and, mm-hmm. like, Bud being more patient with him. And, like, also being, like, kind of understanding where it's, like... Yeah, I get blamed for stuff too, but I'm just taking it. Even though Fred's the one that's like, it wasn't me, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Causing all the problems and saying yeah. that it wasn't him. So, like, I think that's what the problem is with this movie. Is that it really is just... This movie is just shenanigans. Mm-hmm. It's not really, like, a crazy big storyline where everybody doesn't, like... I don't know. Yeah, because there isn't really character arcs. Like, the only, like, closest one is, like, uh, Bud, like, being able to, like, uh, like, lead the team. Not a, not again, but, like, him, like, redeeming himself to, like, his work colleagues being, like, yeah, I told you about this, like, weather stuff, like, a, like, a while ago. Mm-hmm. And you didn't do anything. And then also, like... Kind of the captain, like, at the end, being like, Oh, I hate Fred. He annoys me. I'm gonna go do da-da-da-da-da. And he, like, goes out with the monkey. And, like, they run out of oxygen. And Fred's like, I'm gonna go get him because this storm's not gonna, like, do whatever. And the then they storm's have the whole... The storm's a Yeah. A brewing. <laughs> yeah, because then Fred's like, Oh, I'm gonna give Ulysses my air tank because he ran out of his. And then they go, and Fred's still running around. Which is insane, because, like, immediately after giving Ulysses his, like, pack thing, he's just a book sit. <laughs> it's like, bro, where are you going? Stop. <laughs> just go together, please. <laughs> there is, okay. But, uh, just, like, uh, the captain's whole, like, arc being, like, he goes and takes Ulysses back and is like, dude, Fred's holding his breath out there. I gotta go help him. And then he, like, goes. Yeah. Okay, it just reminded me of all, like, the funny little one-liners that he has. Like, uh, Fred, when, when Ulysses, uh, like, when, when, uh, okay, sorry. No, when, that was Julie. <laughs> <laughs> that part is no. actually funny. Like, okay, no, it's. <laughs> like, it's stupid, but, like, I love, let me, let me preface the scene. Okay. So, it's. It's uh, Fred and the captain. They're, like, putting up the flag. The flag flies away. And, like, while they're doing whatever, uh, captain's airbag gets, like, hit by the pole. Which makes it so it's, like, oh, there's, like, a hole in your air pack. So you guys got to share air now. Mm-hmm. And uh, while they're running around, Fred gets gassy. And I just... <laughs> I think what, like, makes me laugh the hardest is, uh, like, just all the people down at NASA being like, oh, oh, no, uh, Bill's in trouble. Like, like, just saying, like, all the scientific stuff where he's like, 
Yeah, his heart rate's going up, and like there's high methane in like his suit, and like they're, well, like, they're like trying to figure methane. out methane. Like what? What is all this? What does this mean? And then um, it all like hits him like, duh, he tooted. <laughs> yeah, he farted. <laughs> but and, yeah, just yeah. a Fred being like, yeah, it wasn't me. It, it was uh, it was Ulysses, and he's like, there's like it's only us, like in, like the hundreds of miles. Who else would it be? <laughs> He's like, okay. He's like, okay, well, I'll take the blame on that one. That one was me. And then he toots again and it's like, no, that was Julie. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's like I remember laughing super hard as a kid at that. Oh yeah. Just him being like, no, that was Julie. <laughs> well, I feel like, like dad quoted that too. Oh yeah. There's a lot of things that we quoted or like dad quoted when we were younger. Like we would quote John Jingle Jim John. John mm-hmm. Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. I uh-huh. remember that whole bit. Um, <laughs> and um, like that whole bit in the isolation chamber. Um, oh there's my also... gosh. The isolation chamber part where we were like, did they just say a slur? Yeah. I thought at one point. They... Dude, both of us were like, um. Because <laughs> like they paused like. I think what they were trying to do was, like, uh, because Fred's doing, like, a puppet show in, like, this isolation chamber with, like, his socks. And, like, one, like, they're both, like, being like, yeah, close the door. We want five more minutes in here. (laughs) And, like, uh, I think just how they edited it, it was, like, supposed to be, like, the one sock was starting to say it and then the other one was supposed to like cut him off immediately and be like hey don't call him that but then there was like a big space in between it where it's like 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 he was supposed to say more but then like there's nothing and me and Sam were like bro ain't no way he said a slur right well because we we the line was like oh shut the door you fat and then like it cuts off but, like he's like stops it right there. Yeah, so you think that he's just he just says you it says the a gay slur and Yeah. <laughs> I know I sat and, there and I was like, bro. Well, I think I also was having that moment of well while I was watching it, I'm just like, now let's just go through and see why Disney won't have this on Disney Plus. And yeah. so I immediately thought like, oh he just said the F word. And yeah. um Oof. But Thankfully not though. No. He's Thankfully not. there's no like mean gay jokes in this movie. Yeah. Um, None that I can remember. I don't remember any. But um but I just remember all the weird little voices that he would do, like Fred Randall would do. Uh-huh. When uh like, oh you've done it again. <laughs> like when the Dude, when he does his surprise <laughs> impression, he's like Oh, your luscious lips and your eyes. <laughs> uh, Dude, that part, we played it so much last night. Mm-hmm. I think we were just extra giggly last well, night because yeah, it was late. We started that movie at like 11. Yeah. And I had caffeine in it. We were very uh, good. I, I, I needed good. caffeine to, to keep me up. Even though I just said yeah. earlier that I took a caffeine break. Uh, <laughs> I needed to watch the movie, so I gave me some stuff to keep me up for a second. Yeah. Okay. Let's just put this out there. My caffeine break is just like, I won't drink it. Unless like, I need it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I will, like, if I'm, like, traveled... Like, if you want it, you're not going to get it. But if you need it, then you'll get it. Yeah, like, if I'm driving long distances, I'll probably, like, I'll do what I usually do. Grab a soda and grab a a water. But, Mm -hmm. um, and try to go as long as I can without caffeine. Mm Mm-hmm. And, like, yeah. Um, Yeah. So, one of my favorite scenes, like, another great scene is, uh... During the during this point when Fred doesn't sleep during the nine month uh Which, like sleeping pod thing, dude, like that part, like you think like the first time, like well, like even just sitting there, like because in like the the pilgrim like 
rocket, which is like the little like rocket that they use to like go from like the main spaceship down to Mars. Like, in that one, they have, like, standing up beds where, like, they're strapped in so they're not going to fall down. Mm-hmm. Like, why don't they have that for the sleeping pods? Because I'm sure that they would fall down. Like, even if, like, it's, like, kind of leaned back, but it's not really. They're, like, just standing there. <laughs> but I feel like that would also defeat the purpose of, like, Ulysses taking Fred's spot. <laughs> also, just last night, I was like, bro, that monkey's dead. <laughs> There's way too much of the sleeping stuff going into that monkey's body. He's dead. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> so, um, I like that whole bit where he's just awake for eight months and, mm-hmm. or nine months and... It's eight he... months. Oh, okay. But, um... Because <laughs> there's the line where Julie's like, yeah, I'll see you in eight months. And he's like... Yeah, I wish I had a dollar for each time a girl said that to me. No, it was 900. <laughs> it was like a weird random number, like 956 or something. Yeah. But um, I just like that uh, that he just starts going insane. And you just see like some wild rambunctious characters. Like he fights off of, he fights off of a mental like tribe of like. Like the U2s. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the U2s. Yeah, that's what it's called. Y-U-T-U. Because it's funny also because when he talks to Bud, which, like, I feel like they should have had them talking earlier of him being in isolation. Mm-hmm. But, uh, like, <laughs> it's funny because when Fred's talking to him, he's like, yeah, uh, I've been just, like, like, just doing whatever. I defeated the U2s and, like, talking about, like, he just, like, casually says it and, like, no one says anything about it. Yeah, and they're it's like, so oh, he's, he's gone insane. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, like, he also the is, like, the, the artist who's, like... It's funny because he's, he's, like, Picasso, but then... Hey, yo, Picasso. <laughs> but it's like, he's, like, Picasso, but then he's also Van Gogh because, like, he, like, put, like, stuff on his ear. Mm-hmm. So it's like he's like a mix of a bunch of, of stuff. all like the Renaissance, um, and he does Just like the people. he does like the, the the Sistine Chapel picture. Yeah, the uh, Michelangelo. Is it Michelangelo uh, Sistine Chapel? I think so, but it's like the the painting of like Adam, like Adam and God touching fingers, but it's him and Ulysses <laughs> and Julie's holding him. Yeah. <laughs> Which um, oh my gosh. If you look at, like, Fred's, uh, like, the shape of his head in that painting, it's, like, they gave up doing, like, his hair. Because they were, like, doing a swoop. But, like, it's, like, there's his head that's, like, a circle. And they were, like, going to, like, do his hair like that. But then it, like, goes down and, like, like it just makes the shape of his head weird. Like, there's, oh, like, a yeah. dent in Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, it looks like he just gelled the front of his hair. Like, the front of his head. Like and a, then, yeah, making like, like swoop forward. Yeah, but then the rest of it is just frizzy in the back. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, like all the different characters that he has at yeah. that part. Like when he uh, he tries to attack uh, Bill and, <laughs> and he's like, aha, I'm back. And just starts like hitting him with it's all... It's me again. Yeah. I love how he makes a, a Ulysses AI. Yeah. And... I love, like, the end of it where, like, it's just him talking just like, Fred, snap out of it. Fred, snap out of it. <laughs> and just, like, him being... <laughs> I'm trying to think of, like, other stuff he said. Oh, he's like... Uh, he he's tells like, him to go to sleep and, like... Yeah, well, it's like, uh... He's like, I know you're out there, Fred. You can't have forever, Fred. <laughs> 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 it's like, dude, same. <laughs> but, yeah. It's oh. it's a fun little movie. Mm-hmm. I think we should move on to the next. Uh, the other one. The, the other Rocket Man, the one that's not as oh. influential. Jump scared by Shane <laughs> Doss. Oh my! No, wait. That was one that had the IMDb. Hold on. But yeah, Rocket Man. Uh, the one from twenty nineteen. It's about uh, uh, Elton John. Yep. 
Like, the synopsis, I feel like, is pretty good. Because it's, like, there's nothing spoilery about it. Because it's, like, it's about someone's life. Mm-hmm. But it's, like, a, it's a musical fantasy about Elton John. Yeah, and I didn't... It's very whimsical. I didn't realize that it was going to be, like, a musical. Why wouldn't it be? Uh... I thought it was going to be like Bohemian Rhapsody and just be like... No, this one's better than Bohemian Rhapsody. The music Ooh. makes sense. I like this one more than Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian. <laughs> it's, it's the Halloween edition where... <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> where Freddie Mercury haunts us. Yes. <laughs> um, where the Queen of England and... Uh, <laughs> And Freddie Mercury just... Uh, no, they're like, one. They, they haunt the, the... Oh, what's the building called? Uh, what's that building called? Buckingham Palace. And it's just... Okay. <laughs> what's that one building? Okay, guys. I have a TV show idea where it's just... It's an, it's just Freddie Mercury and, and, the, and the Queen who just passed away. And they're just haunting Buckingham Palace. And... Um, Why would uh, just, Freddy be there? Because he's Freddy. he's the second queen of England. He's the second most important queen of England. You're right. Well, no, I feel like this one, like, uh, like I feel like the story makes more sense, and like, I think it it also adds to it that the guy that it's about is still alive and also helped make the movie. Like, I think it was. Not written by him, but like he, he was he was an executive producer. Yeah. So like he definitely uh <laughs> I mean I imagine if it's a movie about you, you're gonna like add something to it. I would hope. Yeah. Um So like I can see like um uh, like they definitely did some creative liberties, but like I'm sure like uh, like the scene where like it's his, like his first like concert and like he like jumps up in the air and like how it all like slows down and mm-hmm. like everyone's floating in the air. Like I feel like stuff like that. It's like that's how he felt in the moment where it's like, oh, dude, this is so cool. And mm-hmm. it just feels magical and I love it. Or he was just insanely high and was just like this is what I'm feeling right now I'm actually in the air I actually turned into a rocket and I shot into space when I was singing Rocket Man wait did that happen? I can't remember when was the last time you saw this movie? a few years ago I meant to rewatch it and then I didn't have time so I was also going to rent it on YouTube because it said it was on YouTube and then it wasn't and I was like sick dude I'm going to watch it on Amazon and then I never did but I did it's watch it like, like George of the Jungle. You're probably hey, gonna, I watched you're this gonna, like five saying, times when it came but you're out. Gonna, ooh, okay, okay, okay. It's not like George of the Jungle where it was like, yeah, I watched this like ten years ago and I remember everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, no, but uh. Okay. Yeah. I liked all the scenes, like <laughs> without <laughs> you mean Rhapsody. One best editing? This movie has better editing than that movie. Okay, Amy, you are like... But it's also stupid. Out com- and you're pulling out comments that I do not agree with. I think the Bohem- editing? I think Bohemian Rhapsody is a better movie than, than uh, Rocket Man. Mm. Yeah. I think just, like, storyline-wise and, like, uh, like, how they go about, like, being, like... This is why this character is talking about their life, and this is why we're part of it. Because, mm-hmm. like, the whole thing is, uh, it starts off with Elton going to rehab, and he talks about his life because mm-hmm. he, he's in rehab. And I like all the scenes where uh, it like cuts back to him at rehab, and he's like slowly like taking off like his big outfit, mm-hmm. and then like it's just. I like the, like, they did the song choices really good, like, when he's, like, going to rehab, like, more towards the end when he's, like, like, he's about to go on stage, but then he leaves because he's, like, duh, I need to go to rehab, and it's, a uh, Goodbye Yellow, B- Yellow Brick Road, and it fits perfectly, mm-hmm. and then, like, there's just a lot of songs, like, uh, Benny and the Jets, and that's when he's, like, 
I think that's when he's going downhill. I think it's... What is it? I'm is not going to help you, Amy, because you're going you're gonna to no, get what I you get, deserve for no, not watching the, the movie recently. I get all the songs mixed up. It's like either... I think it's like Crocodile Rock when uh, him and his uh, boyfriend, who's also his boss, like, are like, yeah, we're going to get all the expensive stuff. No, it's... It's Honky Cat. Yeah, it's Honky Cat. Yeah, okay. Um, Crocodile Rock is when he uh, is is like towards the beginning of the movie. It's like one of the first big performances that he has. That's the one where like he jumps up in the air while playing the piano, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 But I I liked all the songs and like uh, is it Taron Etrigan? Or, no. Etrigan. Stop! Taron Edgar... Eg- I think it's Taron Eggerson. Well, I always want to say Aaron Tegerson. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's not it. Taron Edgerton. Yeah. Or Edgerton. Edgerton. It's, it's not It's not Etrigan. Like the, Stop! Like the, leave me alone! Like the, the, the <laughs> demon from the DC Comics. Stop! Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, so him and Elton met on... Uh, Kingsman 2, because that's when the lady, like, has Elton John, has the Elton John held captive. She's like, play the music. And he's like, no, F you. <laughs> like, they met on that set. And then after that, uh, they did sing. Uh, Tar- yeah, they did sing together. And he sang Elton John songs. Or an Elton John song. You just, I'm you pretty just sure saying, I'm just still, st- I'm still standing. I'm yeah. There. And I, I think that was like, Elton being like, mm, I kind of want this kid to be me for my movie. Well, so let's let's see like how he does singing my stuff. Which also kind of ruined Sing 2 for me. Because I was like, all that I hear is just Elton John now. Yeah. Like that's all that that character sounds like now to me. It's just Elton John. <laughs> Which I am the exact opposite. When I hear him singing in this movie, I'm just like, that's not Elton John. No. I think also because I liked... Like, uh, not like how they edited the songs, but just like how they sang them in the movie. Like, I like how they sang it. And like, I just listened to them more. Mm-hmm. So I think now I'm just like, yeah, that's just Elton John now, which is terrible of me, but. It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> don't remind me. Um, but I don't know. I, I thought, I thought the movie was good. Um, I I think it would be interesting. I mean, I don't know with how much we could do it with talking about this movie, but like just talking about like all of like the bio, like Bi- like musical like, biopics that have happened ever since, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Because mm-hmm. I feel like uh, because I don't know when Bohemian Rhapsody or Rocket Man were like both in production, so I don't know if like. Because there's definitely not like, oh, Bohemian Rhapsody came out. Let's hurry and make a movie about Elton John and we'll hurry and get it in and pump it out next year when it's like, no, they took time with this one. Yeah. So I don't know if they just started both of them around the same time. They must have. Or if one inspired the other or I don't know. Well, I, I feel think like there's I a year of... difference between um, yeah, cause like Bohemian... releasing Bohemian Rhapsody and... Uh... Rocket Man. Rocket Man. Oh yeah, definitely. I feel like, uh, like with Elvis, I feel like that one, like it feels like that one's trying to ride off of. Well, I think it's the same people who did. Bohemian Rhapsody. I think it was one of the two that. Because it's a different director. Because the director is known for like, his crazy editing, and like he made it like feel like Vegas in, Elvis. Mm. But I, I haven't watched the movie. But I've seen some of the transitions. And they're kind of wild. Mm. But then I don't know about all of the other ones where it's like about... Uh, like Whitney Houston. Yeah. And... Uh, well, yeah, just like, every, like everyone else. <laughs> I can't think of... I can't think of people. <laughs> uh, NW, didn't they do a movie about NWA? They have one about Tupac. Um, I think the one about... Tupac is like a. I'm just thinking of like a recent one, like. Well, the Tupac like the one, one was like in 2017. 
I have no idea. Or 2016? I'm just thinking about, uh, there's one where it has Johnny Depp in it and he's like a detective. I don't know the full story about it, but it's like he's trying to figure out the murder or something. I don't know what the heck was happening. It had something to do with Tupac, but I never watched it. Mm. But it's also like the like 2020 and like... No, I was working at the theater. So it was like the beginning of 2021 when like no one was going to the theater still and there were no good movies. <laughs> and like that movie randomly came out, but it was also January when no one's watching <laughs> movies. They're watching all the stuff that came out over the holidays. But yeah, I... Yeah. It's hard to tell which ones are like writing off of uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I like I like Rockman more than. Uh, well, I don't Bohemian think Rhapsody. I don't think they're they're solely writing off of one movie. I think they're just like oh, oh yeah, this, these two like this works. Like seeing the like these biopics are interesting and people want to hear about it. Mm-hmm. Like I wouldn't I. I'm trying to think of like other good, uh, like singers that they like or musicians that they would do. Mm-hmm. Um, like I can see them doing like a Beatles one, like a biopic sort of like that. Mm-hmm. Um, or like, like but some big like... like rock group, like Rolling Stones or. Mm-hmm. There was one that was about a. Why was I gonna say Slipknot? Uh, what are their names? Uh, well, never mind. I, I don't know what their name is. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't listen to them, and they're like a rock group, and like it came out like, like it wasn't like a big movie. Like, I don't think it was a theatrical release, but it was like a, I don't know if it was like a Netflix thing, but it was like a biopic. Mm-hmm. Oh, they also had a weird Al Yankovic one I sort of want to see. The one with the... With, with Daniel Radcliffe. Dude, please. I sort of want to watch that. I one. really want to watch it. Ever since uh, the Legion of Doom episode where you brought up uh, Daniel Radcliffe and he's singing... Uh, uh, she'll be coming around the mountain. <laughs> I'm like, bro, please. I need him. Let's, uh, let's get into the actual movie itself. Yeah. Because... Yeah, we like uh I like the mu- like I feel like this one's like obviously it's going to be a musical. But I feel like it's more musical than I I I feel bad cuz I keep comparing it to Bohemian Rhapsody. Mhm. Well, I don't think Bohemian but Rhapsody was a musical. It was just, just like played, they just It was they, just him going to concerts, playing songs and them mm-hmm. also making songs. Yeah. And like seeing the inspiration behind it. I think that was the thing I had a problem with in the movie is that you, I felt like since it was more of a musical, you couldn't really see the inspiration behind and each I, song. Yeah, I feel like, but this one, I feel like it wasn't like a movie, like that was going to be based around like how they made the songs. It was just more about his life mm-hmm. and like how he like grew up and then also like... Like, coming out as a gay man, like, later mm-hmm. on and, like, figuring all that out. And mm-hmm. just, like, just, like, his, like, just how he's, like, trying to get through life. Mm-hmm. And, like, just, like, coming out of, like, struggling for so long. Yeah. With everything. Well, I think that was, like, the main part of it. Yeah. And, like... Because, like, in Bohemian Rhapsody, they don't super delve into drug use. I feel like it was more... Like, it was, like it was, it was, it was dealing with the like the st- it was dealing with the the rise to power of Queen mm-hmm. and like seeing how everybody reacted and um and I don't know mm-hmm. but with this movie and yeah and it totally delves on like the effects of the wild lifestyle of a of a rock star mm-hmm. and um what there's a story. It didn't happen to me, but I know it happened to coworkers. Cause I was working when both of these movies came out, and uh, it's so crazy that people don't know this. But like, people were like coming out and being mad that like, yeah, I didn't know that uh, 
Freddie Mercury or an Elton John were gay and I want to leave. And it's like, what do you mean you didn't know? <laughs> like, but those like, two are like probably the most prominent gay people in all of history. Yeah. Like, yeah. But like, like, like it's a big part of like the movies of mm-hmm. like them realizing like, oh, hey, I apparently I'm gay, but it's fine. Like, it does... It's not, like, a huge, like, shift in the movie where, like, that's all that it becomes now. Mm-hmm. Like, it's and just them discovering, like, oh, like, I, I, I don't like women as, I'm, as much as I like men. Well, like, that's, like what, that's what I thought. Like, I thought going into the movie, I'm like, oh, this movie's just going to be about uh, Elton John coming out as gay. And, yeah, especially because it's, it's be rated just R, the, too. Yeah, and, so like... So you don't know. But it's all... I feel like the rated R stuff was mostly just uh, saying the f word and the crazy amount of drug use. Oh yeah. And then the one scene where you see some, uh, you don't see butts, but like they're totally Legs. having their, they're, yeah. Is they're, it like the? They're they're having the sex. Or, the orgy scene, or it's not really an orgy. They just made it look like it, it could have been. It's defined as one, but yeah. Um, like uh, I was Dude, thinking more I... of like the. The guy from, uh... The boyfriend? Yeah, the boyfriend. The kind of boyfriend? Dude. (laughs) I was gonna say the guy from uh, Eternals, but... Wait a minute. Is he... Is he, he, uh... What's his name? Icarus? Yeah. That's him? Yeah. Bro! (laughs) That's all I saw. I'm just like... It's it's Icarus, but with an ugly looking haircut. Dude, he's a villain in all the stories. The bad boyfriend in all universes. Oh, my oh no! So, yeah, I think I didn't realize that was him. I think, bro. Like my take from the movie was that like it showed more of like, um, like the side of Elton John where he was abused a lot. Like whether it was, um, like he was thrown into like the drug life or like he was abused physically by by uh oh what's his name this is i want to say his name is john but that's too generic it couldn't yeah the Uh, boyfriend yeah the boyfriend like Mm -hmm. him being physically and abused by him emotionally um, and then like having his parents being the worst parents ever yeah like Every single time I saw the mom, I'm like, oh, is this going to be one of those moments where she's actually going to be good? But she just gets worse. And, um... Mm -hmm. Is it uh, this one or Bohemian Rhapsody? Or does it happen both where, like, uh, the parents have, like, another kid and they, like, basically disown... I feel like that's Rocket Man. That's, like, his dad his dad comes in and, like... Did... Like when he goes and visits his dad, mm-hmm. and um, because our his parents are divorced, right? Yeah, and yeah, he yeah. gets he yeah. gets remarried, and yeah, Amy, you should you should just watch the movie. I, I know. Amy, I mean, I thought we were gonna uh, watch I, it together, I, but then we didn't. Well, I said I wasn't gonna. I I didn't have time to watch it with. I, I didn't have time to watch both movies with you. I had to watch one on like my own. Like I didn't have time to yeah come yeah. over and watch it or bring you over and like yeah yeah okay. But still, should have watched it. Everybody Amy. in the comments, just go hate on Amy really quick. No, don't do it. Put please. a thumbs down on the video. No, don't. <laughs> please Christ. give us a thumbs down and comment that Amy, you need to watch your gosh dang movies when we're supposed to watch them. But my love for them outshines me watching. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> you were so unprofessional. I hate Okay, it. but, like, also, I was like, oh, I'm going to bring a notebook out, like, last night and write, like, do actual notes. And then I also did it. Okay. Uh, let's move I, on. I stay here and I'm like, uh, brain power. And then I realize, I forget that I forget everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I don't know, like... So the movie, like we go back to the movie, um, some things that I enjoyed and other things I didn't enjoy, um, because I thought the movie was okay. Will I visit the movie again? Probably not. Um, 
I just, yeah, I don't know. I just couldn't get into it because I, I don't know, I've never really could, I couldn't really connect with Elton John. I like think, I, I, and that's what I was looking for. I was looking for something to, to connect with them, and I just couldn't find something. I think that's uh, what got me with liking this one more than Bohemian Rhapsody, because I feel like this one, uh, like with Bohemian Rhapsody, like it's mo like bulk of it is uh, like mostly about Freddie Mercury, mm -hmm. and like it's like sadly we can't like get like info like from him mm -hmm. on like how he felt about stuff so they couldn't really go and like to like super personal stuff mm -hmm. well with this one you get like 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 intimate stuff like like you can actually like talk to elton and be like oh yeah like when this happened how did it make you feel or like how did you like see everything and he's like no mm -hmm. it made me do that and like i think that's what got me to like relate to it more because it's like you can see it from like his point of view like it does a better like way like it of, like, shows him as a view. person more yeah that's that's a fair point but i don't know i think i don't know i just couldn't relate with him and if they did bohemian rhapsody the same like if they focus just on him i don't know if i could relate with him i was more invested in bohemian rhapsody because it talked about the career of like Queen and their rise to to fame. Yeah. And I thought that was more interesting to me and I was I don't know. Yeah. Like and I feel, I feel like that's also just like our not like personalities, but like just like what we find interesting. Uh, I, like, I just well, I was looking for one thing and I didn't. I was looking for oh, this is this is the career of Elton John. It's not like the like reflection about of his, him. it's not the re I wasn't quite looking for the the reflection of his life. I was looking mm -hmm. for also the oh, this is how he got into it. This is where he got big and whatever and mm -hmm. which you do still see that, but it, it's that not as like, am it, it, it's amplified as mm, it's not the Rhapsody. focal point of yeah. the movie, which yeah. I don't know, that's a it's a hard thing to get over like to go if over. If you watched it again, like knowing that, like, like rewatching it now, knowing that it's like, oh, it's just about Elton. Do you think that would change your Probably, mind a little bit? I don't know, maybe, but I also have I don't really have quite the desire to watch it again. Mm. And that might be also with the other Rocket Man too. I don't know <laughs> if I have the desire to watch that again. Would you show your kids other Rocket Man or I don't no? Know. I don't <laughs> think I would. There's there's other movies out there. Like George wanted... of the Jungle. <laughs> yeah. I would totally show my kids George of the Jungle. Dude. <laughs> like, okay. Like, the problem with... I think I Rocket think Man many... was just prominent in our childhood because that's when it came out. Was when our older siblings... Oh, were, true. Like, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> we were born in the 2000s. What do you mean? Like, we were two or three when... Or it was two or three years old when we yeah. were born. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm sure, like, Mom and Dad got it for, like, Jake and Taylor. Yeah, yeah. But, um, it's, I don't know, like... I feel like there's also just, like, there's probably, like, a few too many problematic things with Rocket Man <laughs> compared to, like, George of the Jungle. Well, yeah, but... But, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, let's, I feel like... I don't know. Like, I'm trying to think of stuff that... Because I did like Rocket Man, like 2019 Rocket Man. Mm -hmm. And I just don't know what I would do to... Like, I don't know what... Like to change it for you to like it? or Yeah, there, I don't, you can't really change it because... I feel like it's I don't too... know what I don't like about it and what I don't really... I don't know. There's stuff that I like about it, and I can't really put it into words what I like about it. Like, the style is cool. The, it's a fun movie, mm -hmm. but, like, like it's a fun stylistic movie. Like, that meaning of fun. The the Seeing the depression and the, and the problems. As, as fun as it can get <laughs> yeah. with all that stuff. Yeah. 
but I don't know. Yeah. It's it's a good movie. I don't know. It, all in all, I don't know if I could recommend either of these movies to people. <laughs> I, I mean, I feel like if you already like Elton John, then you'd like the yeah. movie. If you want to know more about Elton John's personal life versus his career in music, I would watch this movie. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I liked the actors in it. Like, I can't remember, like, actors where I was like, oh, this person did terrible. Mm-hmm. Oh, but, somebody that I really, really liked. I liked the, the writer for the music. Like, the his friend that oh, was... Oh, the was, one where he had a crush on him, but mm-hmm. then they did Dude, yeah. the... Uh, I didn't want to look up The who, tiny dancer, like, that part. Mm-hmm. Hit me in the fields. It's, like, yeah. Do you, do you want to look see him? Hmm. Uh, the, what do you mean? The actor is it that guy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, Jamie Bell. Yeah, I think he was. I think he is really the only character that I that really stuck out and I liked. Cause he was friends with him, like throughout the movie, right? Mm, oh yeah, he okay. was. Like they never. It says in the movie they didn't have a single argument like throughout their entire friendship. Mm. And it's... Which I don't know how. Me me and my bestie bicker about dumb stuff. Like, there ain't no way that you didn't fight with them. But also... I I think the... I think definition of, like, argument where it actually, like... I mean, compared to, like, his, his boyfriend and, like... Like, just, like, other people around Elton... Where yeah. it was like very toxic relationships. This yeah. is probably like like it is was like this is like the best <laughs> at all of them. Yeah, I don't think I I would agree that like there wasn't really any argument shown in the movie. Mm-hmm. They had disagreements, but it wasn't like they were fighting. Yeah, 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 and they like both understood each other, so that's why it didn't turn into an argument. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah. Um. I don't know what else to talk about for these movies, but I don't know. Watch them if you want to. Um, I won't make you watch them. If I'm sitting down in a movie with, if I'm sitting in my house with, with some friends and they're like, let's watch a movie, those are probably let's not Let's watch gonna... Rocket Man. Which one? <laughs> if I were to pick between the two, it would be 1997, baby. No, <laughs> I would not. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. If I'm if I am down for a sad time but with good music, <laughs> Rocket Man would be good. If I'm just down to if be you've... stupid, then it would be Rocket Man. <laughs> <laughs> and good music. I like the score in, in Rocket Man. Yeah, there were some good songs. <laughs> if you could follow but that. Also, but also, um, uh, I think of uh, just the Shrek logic where it's like. Like when he's like when it's the eight month jump, uh, it was just the song that's like I couldn't sleep at all last night. And do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah. And then them playing Rocket Man in the credits. Yeah. And then when you wish upon a star, I can't think of other songs. I think that was about it. Wow, but, sick. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I if you take out the 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 presidential call. Like, Dude, if, if, you, if you take out the... Okay, the whole... but is it Bill Clinton? Do you think it's Bill Clinton or uh, George Bush that's supposed to be the president? Ooh, that's a great he's, he's question. Like te- okay, now he that's was... the age-old question of... Who's the president? <laughs> he's like a Texas man. I don't know either of those presidents well enough to be like, oh yeah, who's this president? I think it, I, I think it looks more like they were going for... Uh, uh, Bill Clinton. Yeah. Was he the president before uh, George Bush? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cause it, it That's went, what I was thinking, but I, went, I was like... It went Bill Clinton. I, didn't... I, I think it was Bill Clinton, then George W. Bush. Um, but before Clinton was George W. Bush's father. And, and then Reagan. I, no. <laughs> Reagan. I, I don't, Reagan. I don't know. I'm just like Ronald Reagan. No, no. so it's like before... no, it's like no, hold on. 
Actually, so, no. Washington, Abraham Lincoln, uh, the one who died like within like two months of him being president. Um, <laughs> Reagan and uh, Bush. Okay. And Clinton. Um, I next guess. Next episode, we're doing we're doing a <laughs> no, do we're doing too. American history with Amy, and she's gonna give a presentation <laughs> on what she thinks American history is. No. I mean, I'll... No. Okay, I'll test you. Okay, that's one of the episodes. I'm putting Dude, it down it's now. it's gonna... Fourth of July episode, we're doing um, a quiz on on Amy's knowledge of American just take, history. Why don't we just take, like, a, an American citizenship quiz? I want That'd you be to a take good episode, too. It. No, I want to give you random <laughs> stuff, and... No, that's... <laughs> it's going to show how terrible we learn stuff. Yep. Because, no, like, you want to know the part that sucks, too? I remember in uh, junior year, uh, in my history class, for some reason, like, we didn't talk about any of this stuff, but the teacher was like, all right, guys, you're going to be making a slideshow, and uh, you're going to do half of the presidents on one, like, in one semester, and then next semester, you're going to do the other half. And it's going to be three slides of, like, each president. And you have to do, like, facts about them. And then you also have to do a quiz. But I didn't know about the quiz. So I got an F for that first half of the year. And I was so mad because I had to retake everything. And it's like, he didn't teach us any of this stuff. This is so dumb. That's so I, was, I remember I was gone that day. And he's like, oh, yeah, you just have to make a slideshow about presidents. And I was like, cool, thank you. He didn't say anything about a quiz. So I was like, thanks, dude, for giving me an F. I'm mad. No, I think I got like a D. So it was like I almost like I almost passed because of it. And I'm so mad about it. But you didn't. You didn't tell me. Okay, so <laughs> I'll figure don't, out. I'll, don't expose me, please. I'll, I'll, I'll make something. But yeah. But I'm going to have to. Nope, don't study do up on anything. No, please. <laughs> I want, I want pure, absolute pure, <laughs> pure un- Amy stupidity. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I want a pure, unprepared Amy for a test. Me half of these episodes. <laughs> oh, guys, that is absolute facts. <laughs> no, please. But then there's also me where like um, like when we first started, and I was like. I'm going to get a list of stuff, and I made notes, and you're like, dude, you're like overprepared. What the heck? Not anymore, baby. <laughs> Look at you now. No, I just need to... I'm going to get back into it. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, that was the episode. Um, Tell us you... what Rocket Man's your favorite. Is yeah. it Rocket Man or Rocket Man? My favorite's Rocket Man. Thanks or... for watching. Bye. <laughs> 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 no, we don't have to... Do... No, you can do it. You can talk. No, please. Please. Well, thanks for listening to this episode. Uh, if you liked this, you should go check out our other stuff. If you're on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, please leave a review. Check out our other videos on YouTube where we have bonus content outside of a podcast. And if you like that, please like, comment, and subscribe to also help our channel grow. Recommend us to your friends so they can also enjoy the dynamic duo of a lifetime. And check us out on TikTok and Instagram at AGS underscore podcast. And check out my art stuff on Instagram at Fabby underscore Yanny. And we'll see you in the next one. See ya.